covered by W.T. Kirkle. Bradshaw showing as he goes down and his pass is caught by number 80. On third and goal, the pass from Bradshaw is caught into the end zone. Touchdown. He's a six foot, 180 pound senior quarterback, number three, Justice Hill. Great game plan. I just give all the glory to God and my teammates. I'm just blessed to be in this position. I'm just grabbing the moment. Kind of a rough start for you. Warriors, 52. Right back, Eric. The eight maybe thought that you kind of had you on the ropes a little bit. You didn't give up and made a lot of big plays. Just talk about that and your resiliency the whole game. Yes, yeah, sir. We've been dealing with adversity all through the playoffs. Um, I knew I knew it was going to be adversity when the first series happened. The ball slipped out of my hands and we threw an interception. But uh, we don't want it easy. We wanted to fight back the hard way. So um, it was just all, all God's plan, I say. So this is your last game, anything, for Little Rock Christian. How much does it mean to you to deliver a state championship? It's incredible. Uh, I've been telling them we're going to win a state championship since the day I said I was coming back out to football. And today it happened. So it's just incredible knowing I'm about to be in Fayetteville in 17 days. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Good luck to you and Fayetteville with the basketball team. Yes, sir. Thank you. Justice, you and I talked a little bit about building a legacy before you left. Now that you've done it, what does it mean? Um, it's undescribable. I don't have words for the moment right now. Um, I'm just thankful. I'm blessed. Give all the glory to God and my teammates for putting me in this position to be successful. What does it mean for the program? You guys were building something special here. You wanted to leave something behind when you went to Fayetteville. Yes, sir. We've been, I mean, we've been right there every year. Uh, since my ninth grade year, we've been right there, lost in the playoffs every year. So this year, just pushing through. Um, I'm happy for Coach Koyu and the coaching staff. I hope they can keep it going in the future. Thank you, Justice. Thank How you much will you miss football, Justice? <laughs> I'll miss football a lot, but um, we'll never know. Maybe I'll go out for spring football next year. Uh, talk, how much influence has your dad had, not just on your career, but your, just your academics life, the whole thing? Yeah, my dad is uh, in the center of everything I do in my life. Uh, of course, y'all know that man. He's just, it's an incredible person. Sometimes it's annoying, but it got me to where I'm at today, so I'm really thankful for him. Do you, uh, Everybody, a few people really gave you a chance probably outside of you guys in this game. Just talk about coming out and getting down at half, but you still came back and didn't never let up. And yes, sir. That's, the what, second half. that's what we said in the tunnel before we came out. We, we knew we were going to face adversity, but if everybody stayed the course, uh, the better team would win, and we thought we were the better team, and we came out on top. Uh, but just adversity, we fought through that all year. 
Just that, that for, how, how big is it for you missing the first time you guys played earlier this year to come uh, back and, and play to this? It point? was a big. Uh, I, I was hurt watching them out there lose, knowing I transferred from PA in the fifth grade. So all those guys I know, they've been my classmates. So just being able to come out here and play them um, against a different team is just incredible, and I'm, I'm glad I got the opportunity to do it. From the time you started till now, just being able to lead my team, I have an incredible influence behind the center. Um, all the big plays just sparked my teammates even more. I told the defense, "Give me one stop, we were going to win." That's what they kept continuing to do so, and that's that's what we did. That, talking about being a leader, how much does that point guard mentality kick into football in that regard? It's, they they are very complimentary of each other, point guard and quarterback. Quarterback is more of a lead role, I think, because there's 10 other guys out there instead of four. So you have to be more of a vocal leader. But it's the same thing in basketball, being an extension of the coaching staff on the court and the field. How much did your defense help you today with the turnovers? Uh, that's incredible. That's the best they played all year. Um, hands down to coach and the defense. They're the reason we won the game. Since you're not playing basketball, can you think of any better way to end your high school career? <laughs> no, sir. That's that's it. That put the that put the sugar on it right there. What's uh, what was the attitude of the team this week as far as the possibility of winning this game, coming in here and doing this? I'm focused. Uh, nobody thought we were going to win except us, and um, knowing that we had a lot of key starters out, including me, in the first week, uh, and everybody doubted us, and we knew. We knew we believed in ourselves we could come out on top. What were some of those things from that first game that you guys used tonight to help you? Um, just a lot of film study, knowing their tendencies and what they were going to do in certain situations, what they like to do on offense and defense, and we took advantage of it. How about starting the game that. with uh, that ball slipping out of your hand yes, and you're sir. down 14 nothing against PA, and you're thinking, yes, man, I know I was thinking, Lord, that you need to get something soon. Just adversity. You know, we told each other we were going to face adversity in the locker room before, but if everybody stayed the course, we would come out victorious. So I told him it was my bad. Just give me a stop and give me the ball back, and we'll win the game. You guys came out in the second half and really just put it on them. What, what did you guys discuss in the locker room? Just mentality. Um, PA, they play a lot of head games because, of course, they four time defending state champions. So we just told them stay the course. Uh, keep playing, keep pushing, we're going to win the game. You didn't play in that first meeting, but what – what changed as far as the offensive game plan, if anything? Um, really just making plays, everybody making plays. Of course, like you saw Chris, just incredible catch, um, things like that. But just tendencies they have on defense, where the blitzes were coming from and things like that, just a lot of film study.